because that nigga name is Trump. He, he got a piece of that yep. shit in his name. Shit. Yep. And now, and, and you know what? And I think I think you wanted some too, bro. Because I'm thinking like now, when they say the Bible is a prophetic text, what if it is prophetic, bro? What if it? What if the whole book is nothing but prophecies, bro? Like, right. like if we really look at everything, you know, directly, like word for word, it's confusing. But if you look back on certain shit, certain shit. It, it correlates. Well, that's what like, I was speaking about. Was you on the panel last night? Uh, I was listening in last night, bro. I was trying to get my. I was trying to get on the panel so goddamn bad, bro. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. trying to get on that mug so bad, bro. I would have got. I would have got I, off for you. I, 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 I do. I, you know, I say my piece on there, and then I, then I back off because you know, we gotta people gotta yeah. be able to speak and shit. But I, I had talked about this shit last night. I had brought up the point of, you know, what or you know, a, a lot of times with these books, I think that um. The people knew ahead of time what was going on, and so that all they do is play out what was happening, right? So, like, uh-huh. and in and, and the Bible, it had talked about uh, not being able to sell a man from woman and things like that, right? But I, but yep. I had looked at it as the elite putting together their plans and then just writing it down and putting it in scripture text because it's something that they had already planned on doing anyway. You know what I mean? They had already kind of been on that weird gay shit in the past you know yep. but now yep. they made it cool because remember the greeks it was okay to be homosexual for the greeks you just couldn't get penetrated you had to be the penetrator you know what i mean yep. you had to be the nigga that, that, that's going in you know what i mean so i looked at it as okay since this day lifestyle they basically know that in the future you know since since the new world order started seven thousand years ago they knew that in the future this would be the uh you know, they, they knew that it would come to pass because if you're the one putting the plans together and you already know that y'all going to be the rulers of the world for at least 7,000 years, you know what I mean? Then, then you already yeah, know. True. This, this, this yeah, your that, plan. That, this this your world right now. That there is definitely true. You know, but um, and I think you're going to something there too. But you know, um, Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. My bad. This fucking alarm is tricky as hell in here, man. That should be scaring hell the hell out of me. Hell <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a black man in Atlanta and shit. I be thinking they gonna run down on me. They hear that shit go off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you always no time, no time. They be right. out there, mother, like, what's up, what's up, what's going on? Right, they don't give a damn yeah. if I got keys and a badge and shit. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna hear that shit. Hey, but look, man, I, uh, we was talking about, you know, sacred text and everything. So, right. your, 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 your theory is that the people that who created the Bible, they basically wrote out their intentions on the world. They right. basically wrote out what they wanted to do do with the world, and they're just basically fulfilling their prophecies as they go. Exactly. That makes sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? That's a possibility. And you also got another possibility as well. Mm. You know, we got another possibility that 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 shit could just very well be, you know, uh, supernatural. You know, all right. the sacred texts. Because you right. know, one of my theories is all the sacred texts. Every last one of them correlate. Yeah. Bible, Quran, you know, it don't matter what you're looking at, no matter where it's coming from, I think every last one of them correlate. And it's right. a reason for that. Because, you know, we're talking, we talking from different different perspectives, different viewpoints, different um, civilizations, but they talking about the same stuff. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, you know, when you, when, when you look at, like, okay, let me just give you a little hint right quick. If you got if you got a Bible on handy right now, man, I don't know I don't know if you do or not, but or if it's on your phone or whatever. But if you look in the Bible and you go to Revelations uh, thirteen and fifteen, it'll tell you that the second beast was given the power to breathe, to to give breath into the image of the beast. You know what I'm saying? So the image of the beast. What I'm thinking is the globe. I'm thinking the image of the beast is the globe. I'm thinking the beast is actually, you know, because they call they they, they, call, they call uh I think the Masons reads they the Masons, the Freemasons, they uh praise to a a, a freaking deity called Ball. 
they pray to a deity called Ball or whatever. That's who they worship in the uh, lodges and shit. So I'm okay. thinking, I'm thinking that uh, you know, the image of the beast is actually the globe. So like when they came across this first, this first globe theory shit, when this shit first came about, bro, this is before niggas had airplanes, bro. Like, how the hell can a nigga who never left the ground, the most you can do from leaving the ground is jumping. You know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 as high as you can get off the ground unless you're using a ladder or some shit or climbing a tree. You know, the how could you tell the entire shape of a world that you can't even live long enough to explore its entirety when right. you don't even have an airplane? How? It's not possible. You know, that's not possible. Now you now now I would have to I would like I would literally want to ask Copernicus, how in the hell did you come up with this? What math did you do? Who 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 yeah. the hell came down from the sky and told you you lived on a ball? Like I just want to know, you know what I'm saying? When right. I thought about that, I'm like, yo, this shit make a lot of sense, and that's that that's what that's what that's when the shit really hit the fan for me, man. Because right. I was like, yo, the White Brothers did not invent aerial fucking flight. You know what I'm saying? We had Africans out there who was like, they was hang gliding and shit back then. You know, Egyptians was hang gliding and shit. That the Asians was doing shit with the wings and shit, but this the airplane wasn't really in full scale until later so i'm like how in the hell could y'all come up with this and then on top of that bro if the earth is a globe if it is a globe how in the hell how in the hell is the stars the same every fucking night That's real. Like how the hell we got this, how the hell we got the same constellations every night, bro? But you you know that's why they always bringing up. Well, if you go into the southern hemisphere, you'll see that the it actually changes. But like, no, nah, that's that's not. They the really case. don't change. They really don't change. They it, really don't change. It, what it, they probably looking at. I've never been to the southern hemisphere, so I really don't know. But what I, what I what I believe they're looking at when they see that, you know. When you're on a dome, if you actually looking at a dome and you are closer to the edge, closer to the edge of that dome and you looking up or you you got something circling up uh, 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 above your head or whatever, you're going to you're going to see that from a different angle than you would if you was directly under whatever circulating. If you get what I'm saying, it's hard to understand what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Like, no, I understand. Like. You know, you got it's almost like that little that little that little fucking toy shit that circulates over a baby's carriage. You know, exactly. uh it circulates over the baby's head. Now, the baby's perspective of that that figure or that toy may be one way, but uh, but if that baby was outside of the crib or 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 facing another direction from the crib or his head was laid the other way, it would look totally different. But it but nevertheless it'd be the same toy. So right. they looking at the same constellation just from a different angle, in my opinion. No, that's real. You know, no, it was bro, the uh yeah. when Bro Sanchez had, had, had gave the chandelier uh example, you know what I'm saying? That's that's similar to what you just said. But but right. I but I can uh I can attest to this, right? In, in the yeah. parts of the world that we actually live in, right? We're yep. pushed towards cities, right? We we push That's towards true. places that are constantly illuminated. Metropolitan uh, city, yep. Exactly. So of course we can't see constellations. If we didn't have all these fucking lights all the time, we'd be able to see probably a lot more stars. When I I'm, I'm from Philly, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Philly. Bro, so bro, in, in my me. city, yep. in my You're city, right. I could barely see any stars at all. I came down to Georgia. I'm like, what the hell? I never yep. seen so many stars in my life, and and I, I was a kid. I was in the science. That was my thing. I hated all other subjects. Oh, history. I did, I did like history a little bit, but but you know, for the most part, science was my thing. So I always had you telescopes want, and shit like that, man. And, and, you and I know still why, couldn't see that many stars. You know why everybody liked science when they was growing up? Everybody liked science at one point in their life. The reason why is because humans naturally have a curious element to themselves. And what right. science does, science basically holds your hand through that curiosity. So basically, yeah. instead of instead of instead of them allowing us to become explorers, to explore the world ourselves and obtain our own knowledge, they held our hands and did it for us and basically passed knowledge down. You know what I'm saying? So that gave them that gave them enough room to, to doctor and toy and change shit around before it got to us. 
or before it got to the next generation and then for and so forth and after that. So that's why we have that's why we have certain certain parts about our our history that was illuminated at one point in time when it was going on, but now later on, you don't hear about it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Not only is it the past, but you know what I'm saying, back then it was all it was it'll be all over the news, but now you go you go Google this shit, you gotta dig it up. It takes a whole lot just to dig up because shit be shit be um should it be erased? Like they they can literally erase. We, we got a new person. We got a new person in the panel. What up, bro? Welcome to the panel, brother. All right. What's going on? Uh, uh, yeah. Now I agree, man. You know, my my daughter's six. You know, and she in kindergarten right now. And so, mm -hmm. in the first week, they had introduced the globe tour. In the first week. You know what I'm you saying? See how crazy now. that is, bro, bro. You see how crazy that is, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. That shit is scary, bro. That shit the scared the week. life out of me, bro. Like the I'm not even gonna week. lie to y'all, niggas, bro. I, don't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, niggas, bro. I ain't gonna sugarcoat shit, bro. Like when I first got any kind of like clue that you know it might be a lie that we live on the globe, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It felt like it felt like it felt like somebody was breathing down the back of my neck, bro. Like on some real shit, bro. Like. Like goosebumps and all stood up on me, bro. Like I was like, "Yo, this shit scary as hell." Because now you realize when you really take that in, bro. Because you know a lot of people, a lot of people look at flat Earth as like, "Oh, y'all just conspiracy theorists and shit," but they don't look at it like, "What are they? What is their reason for questioning this shit?" They don't look at it from that point of view. They look at it like, "Oh, y'all must be less intelligent than me because I trust everything they taught me in school and I made good grades." You see yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like really fucked up, bro. Because when you really, when you really add the motherfucking numbers up and connect the dots, bro, shit don't yeah. add up, bro. And that's some scary shit, bro. When you think about all the kids that's in school right now getting taught that same lie we was taught damn near uh 15 years ago, bro, 20 exactly. years ago and shit, bro. Like that shit scary, bro. Like that shit really scary, bro. That shit be pissing me off though. Because it's like up. damn, it's like damn, bro. They they see us waking up. What the fuck they gonna do about it? Cause you know, back in the days, you probably you probably didn't have a lot of a lot of quote unquote black brothers really really questioning the cosmology. We probably right. didn't have that back then. They probably didn't have that to worry about back then. But now, you know, we got. I'm talking about millennials. Us, like we really we really got we really gonna get them all fucking something to worry about if we wake up too fast. That's what I, that's my point. Cause if we wake up too fast, bro. They ain't gonna have no way to like. They ain't gonna have no way to prepare themselves. That's if they ain't already prepared. Well, no when, they, when they tried to prepare themselves, right? Because because what they did was they created a flat Earth society before anybody could put anything real together. And yep. then what they so, did, uh, you know, it's controlled opposition. So by the time we had started to even talk about it, it was like, no, nah, y'all in a flat Earth society. We like, no, nah, we ain't in that shit. We just trying to, you know. Not. Put uh, two and two together. We we really don't know uh, where to even start. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest with you. When, when I first looked into flat Earth, the very first thing I did was look up flat Earth society, right? Because it because it was already a, a little bit mainstream, right? It had already yep. had uh. Yeah, you know, I think I visited. The, I'm I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I think I visited the website about maybe twice. And that but website when is I bullshit. first got into when I first <laughs> got into bullshit. when I first got into the flat earth shit, bro, like I was I was it was around the same time. Matter of fact, when I first figured out that the earth may be not what it, the shape is, right? It was a little bit before Bob came out and said what he said. Okay. It was uh, it was it was like a couple, probably about three or four months before he came out and said what he said, and then I realized that I was on to some shit. When right. I said when he said the shit, and you know what I'm saying, him being who he is, you know, that shit just that shit hit home for me. I was like, bro, I must be on, I must be really be on to something. Now, mind you, you know, everybody got their path, bro, that, that lead them down to the truth. And the truth right. stands still. I heard a lot of people say that on, on different panels. The truth stands still, but a lie move a thousand times. You feel what right. I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so like <laughs> on some real shit, uh uh, what my path started with a fortune cookie, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a fortune cookie when I was a young boy and I would always want to know how the little Asian lady picked out my fortune cookie and figured out that it was going to actually resonate with me. 
I wanted to figure out how she knew that shit. Cause I was this little young kid. And I was like, man, how the fuck she, how she give me a fortune cookie and the, and the shit inside the fortune cookie is telling me about my life. So I had to study well, well, see, divinity. Well, see, that's crazy. When, when, when you was talking about the little fortune cookie thing, I, I, I thought about this, how, how older people like like far as like their fifties and sixties, like yeah. they go play these numbers and, and 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 it's like they they know these numbers or or they can look at you and can tell you going through something. It, it, it's something with certain people that they 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 can they can read your over or or or, or they're yeah, good true. at body language. It's hard to say, man. But yo, like I knew this one guy. I like you not. He he could play pick four, pick three, and and nine times out of ten. He went in and in the morning or in the evening. He went in one of them times, like like that. That's crazy. Yep. And what that is is he, he done been playing so long that his mind is a calculator that he probably can't even explain himself. He, like he, he can project the next numbers that's coming. Like that's that's yep. crazy. Yep. Because he he been playing them so long. See that's why they tell you the mind is a terrible thing to waste because your mind can pick up on patterns that you probably not even mind, but you're not even mindful about that is picking up. You know, that's why they say don't expose your kids to certain shit because they, they can pick up shit that you're not even aware that they're picking up. Like the human brain, your eyes record everything that you see. You may not remember everything you see, but your, your eyes is recording everything that you see, bro. Like all <coughs> images. And your, and your brain is actually, cre actually made to pick up on patterns, habits, behaviors, characteristic traits, all that shit. Like your, your brain is actually conditioned and created in a way to actually pick this shit up and distinguish, you know, when it's a pattern, when it's not. So, you know, this whole NASA program, the whole flat earth society, bro, this shit, this shit is a lot deeper than what it looks like. And, 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 and you know, it's scary because, you know, I'm a Capricorn. So naturally i'm into this shit naturally i'm into hidden knowledge naturally i'm into you know what i'm saying otherworldly knowledge but most importantly about my nature is i look at the dark side of shit I, I see how shit can go dark i see how shit can get bad you know what i'm saying that's just me so like <laughs> i'm looking at it the long view what is their purpose what could possibly be their purpose to lie about the, the shape of the earth lie about them going to the moon, you know, not, what could not, not possibly to cut you be? off. And, and, and see, oh, oh, not to cut you man. off. The, go on, go uh, ahead, brother. My fault. Just, uh, one, one minute. I, I was watching, uh, I'll be up on Neil deGrasse Tyson shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm always checking for when he's exposing himself. And he, he yeah, had held a conference in, uh, mm -hmm. in Dubai, I think it was. And what he was saying uh -huh. was, was that NASA, uh, the reason why we went to the moon the first time was military interest, which lets you know the military don't, doesn't give up anything. Nothing is owed to the military. You know what I mean? They, they don't get tired of doing the same shit over and over. They will go to war forever. You know what I mean? So exactly. what, they was, what they were saying was, was that the reason why they went the first time was to beat our Russia. But the truth is, is that the, the reason why they even started the NASA program is because it's a military program. It's all military. So even with the SpaceX thing, you know, they trying to make it seem like, oh, they were so against this, this mm -hmm. guy. You mm -hmm. know, nah, he had to swear in first. That's all. It just took a little bit of time. Yep. You got to swear into these yep. elite and, and, and let them know, hey, I, I am willing to die, you know, if, if I expose the truth. And then you can go ahead and do your thing. They're not, they're not mad that you're spending your money. That, nope. that you're a billionaire or a trillionaire that, that's willing to spend your money to do this shit. They all for it. You pushing exactly. their Exactly. Why would they be against exactly, it? man? Yep. So, like, you know, Neil deGrasse Tyson, bro, like, I feel for him, but at the same time, I don't judge him because that motherfucker could have very well been approached and threatened. You know, so. we can't, we, we, let's not forget the color of that man's skin. He might show up on camera laughing, smiling, talking that dumb shit when he knows dumb shit. He may be trying to make his, make everybody else look like a fool. He may be. But you never know who the fuck maybe maybe threaten his family, maybe threaten him. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Shit, they probably approached him and said, "Look, you are the next Bill Nye, and you the next Bill Nye because we said so." And right. guess what? We're gonna tell you the truth, and we're gonna dare you to tell somebody because if you tell somebody, we know where you stay, we know where your grandkids stay, we know where everybody stay, and they will all disappear in a fucking tragic accident. 
fuck with right. us if you want to. You feel me? Like they ain't gonna they not playing with niggas, bro. Like we, we talk about these elites, but these motherfuckers ain't no punks, bro. And not only are they not no punks, these motherfuckers is smart. So if Neil deGrasse Tyson is they is they is the, if they want him to be their do boy and he already in position to get caught up, snatched up by the goddamn by the beast, you know what I'm saying, to do his dirty work, then he gotta do it. He gotta tap dance to that song over with. That's what Bill Nye doing. Bill Nye is still tap dancing to that song. He's still tap dancing. The only thing wrong with Bill Nye is he realizes Bill Nye is a smart ass coward. I'm gonna just say that. He's a smart ass coward. The reason why I say that is because he knows the truth and he'll tell it to you, but he'll, he'll talk around the shit. He'll talk around the shit to make it seem like he's the smartest guy and he knows what he's talking about at all times. So he'll tell you two different things at once. But you really got to listen to the other thing he's saying because the other thing he's saying is the truth. And he just dancing around that shit. So, like, I heard I heard uh, Bill Nye say some shit like, what I want people to understand is that the earth is an enclosed system and we cannot leave the earth. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm like, nigga, how the fuck can y'all get a sound bite with this nigga saying that shit with his voice? And then he's still he's still trying to push this globe shit on everybody. It's a reason. This man ain't stupid. Like this man is not stupid. So when I see shit like that, bro, I just I just ignore it. I I I feel shameful because I realize how fucking powerful, how fucking evil the world is, bro. Because I look at them like them them is just poor people, bro. Like them people, them people is in situations where they can't get out of, bro. Like could you imagine, bro? Could you imagine spending your entire life going to school, learning about the world you live in? learning what they taught you learning what the others left behind as knowledge for you to consume and you actually master this knowledge get to the highest point of your career just to be told everything we taught you was a lie this is the truth now we need you to tell the lie to everybody else so that they can fucking know so that they don't panic or some dumb shit like and, that and, and, and that's and that's how and that's how it works and that's what they do they, that's exactly they, what because they do. because every every since you you're born right Yep. And and you're three years old, one years old, two years old, whatever. Like you, you start to learn things from your parents, your family values, like, and they they show you the world. So when you become yep. five, when when you're five years old, you you get an understanding of the world, and and what you know with your five carries on with you, like far as language, learning how to like. Because like letters and stuff like that, some kids catch it on fast and some kids just kids catch it on slow. Like like even when they say like girls mature faster than boys, like they they read books faster than boys and stuff like that. So so yeah. when you condition to to see things one way and you're tied and raised up in school and they tell you this is history and they and they present these books and and and, and you look at the books and you believe it's true. But when you do your own research outside of them books and outside of that school, you, you see like it's, it's, it's more to it and, 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 yeah, bro, and stuff has been altered. Everything in society like, has a double purpose. We have to be mindful of that. Yeah. Even school. Like, like, school is yeah, not like, only school is not only just to teach you about the world you live in, it's to condition you for the world you live in. Now, now, now let me tell you some crazy shit, right? July yeah. 20th, 1969, Richard Nixon, he made a phone call, long distance phone call. And guess what he fucked? Guess, guess where he called? Who he called? He called a NASA. Moon. He called Neil huh? Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the motherfucking moon, Apollo 11. He <laughs> called these motherfuckers on the moon. What the you fuck? Know, that's a lot. And they aired this shit on TV back in 1969. Man, we didn't even have cell phones then. So, so I'm asking people their opinions. They tell me because it's satellites in space. Uh, let me tell you. I, I tell you my opinion. Bullshit. Ain't no satellite pick up. No goddamn phone call. It'd be such a delay. Like one minute would take 20 minutes or 30 Man. minutes, maybe a damn hour to get back to Earth. Man, look, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Phone call ain't no way in hell, Richard Nixon. If that motherfucker called, called if the motherfucker called the moon, bro, like, bro, like, he, 
That shit crazy. If he called the moon, nigga, I could FaceTime somebody on the moon right now. I should be able to, I should be able to, I should be able to put a TV on the moon and change the damn channel. We we should have hotels, condos, and everything on the moon. If you was able to make a phone call to the moon, just imagine how much potential that will be for for people on Earth to go to the moon. Man, get the fuck out of here. Ain't mm-hmm. no way in hell. I mean, I, I, I'm still trying to figure that out. You telling me satellites could do that? No. Ain't no way. It's crazy, man. But you but for what, real, though? y'all 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 tell me though. Y'all tell me. Maybe they had technology we didn't know about and they waited like 30, 40 years to present uh nah, fucking I tell you this. phones I and tell stuff. You, a lot of people uh, what, what, was they hiding uh events and reverse engineering? Was 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 they hiding all this stuff? I think they us? were I think they were hiding more than that. Now, this is what my two theories are. Well, number one, my, my first theory is the motherfuckers never went to the moon. Number two, my second theory is if they did go to the moon, what happened was either they got into, they, either they either they was unexpectedly um, encountered with something or somebody or a group of individuals that they are not aware of. They're not from our planet, not from our earth. These motherfuckers basically t- landed on some on the moon and basically they basically got told, get the fuck off of this motherfucker. We're going to fucking fuck y'all up. And that's that that would explain why the astronauts, when they got on on camera on Earth, was acting like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I heard people say all kind of moon, dumb shit. Bro. Like, oh, they was tired of being asked the same question and shit. Man, fuck all that, nigga. You went to the moon. Y'all are the first motherfuckers to land on the moon. Motherfucker, the whole world want to know what y'all seen. I don't give a fuck how many times you tired of hearing it. The whole world want to know this shit. So y'all it, should be ecstatic. But the evidence right. shows that you can't land on the moon, bro. We, you know what I'm saying? This right. is this this, this, right. this the basics. The the, the moon right. reflects its back, not reflects its background, but it's see through. You know what I mean? But besides, you know, b- before I had ever even got into this flat earth, I had already had my theories about the moon. Right? The fact that the moon is blue during the day. I, I had told y'all earlier that my daughter uh they had brought the globe to my daughter uh in the first week and, and, and so, you know what they say why it's blue be, 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 because because the sky is blue so the projection of the moon you was you 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 will see a white kind of, kind of like a silhouette thing in the sky I, it's bullshit so we went now see the hold on now hold on y'all let's check this out now let's 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 really think about what we saying the moon is see-through certain times of the day, right? That's what they say. No, no, I done seen it. I done seen it with my own eyes. I done seen the moon out in the daytime well, well, and that well, motherfucker well, is hey, see-through hey, hey. than the motherfucker. Have you guys heard of a Polaris day? That's a day where you could see the moon on one side and you can see the sun on the other and it's like literally you're right there in the middle of night and day. Yeah. Like... They, they, I've they, heard of it, but I haven't really witnessed one myself in real life. I probably have, but didn't realize it. But I have seen where people have seen like, the sun like, and the moon like in the same, same, that. same in the sky at the same but time. It, but that, that's what I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You know, I I had to take my daughter to the dentist that next week after her first week of going to school, and, and so you know I'm driving with her, and she's she's trying to explain to me what she knows about the earth, right? Right. Right. Now. Of course, I should have got to my daughter earlier. You know what I mean? I should have been broke all this stuff down, but I did, and that's and that's on me, you know. But then, so we, so we. Don't worry, bro. And- hey, don't look, look, bro. I just want to drop this knowledge for you, bro, because you're talking real wisdom, bro. Don't worry about um, um, you not doing it before they talk to her about the globe, because a, a, a child is always going to listen to the parents. Never forget that. It's all right. about it's all about how you teach them and what you teaching them. But right. you gotta put emphasis on how because if you play around with the knowledge, they're gonna play around with it too. You gotta be serious with them. And when you be serious with your kids, that's when you got their undivided attention, even when it may not seem like you do. You gotta approach Shit. them in a very serious manner and let them know, look, this is some real, this is some real knowledge. I want you want you to know. And you gotta be mindful of what age they are too. Like all of this shit, all of this shit has something to do with the brainwashing, bro. It's the reason why they wanted you to learn about the globe before you learned about your numbers. That's right. why they condition you when you a kid. That's what I was saying when I was talking about the story. When 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 you was a kid and you mm-hmm. talk about these things, when you was a little kid, you you talk family values. Your parents tell you don't talk to strangers. They tell you 
do this. They show you how to tie your shoes. They 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 show you everything, teach you everything, and and, yeah. and you go off this and then you get the food. You you you're gonna soak in what them teachers tell you. That's right, right. And you don't know why? You want to know why? Hold it's, on. You want to know it's, why? It's called it's called conditioning. But do you want to know they, why? What's what's, what's what's what what is actually what is actually supporting their knowledge? Books, and then not only books. They try not only books. Nope, expect. nope. Not even books. Nope. You want to know what it is? What? It's the household, the parents. Think about it. When they taught you yeah, about the globe, that's why it's called conditioning. Because when they the taught you about brainwashed too. So if you look at it, the yep. whole chain is brainwashed and it goes on and on and, and it on. strengthens itself. It strengthens itself. The only way to break it is to really break it. Now, the only way to really do it is to wake up the older generation, which is us. So our children are going to be woken up because we're woke. So when, 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 when they first taught our generation about the globe, we brought that shit home. Now, I don't know how many of y'all really really was talking about and, the globe and really the globe, doubted what, that shit what bro sanchez said about the globe he said if you look at the bottom of the globe it says for educational purposes only ain't that some shit but but, but yeah this is what they tell you the world looks like but yeah. for educational yeah. purposes only it's a, no, not, only. Not, not for educational only. Purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah 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 not yeah not right. for educational purposes but don't that tell you something yeah, bro. Yeah. Like when your yeah, child, like, bro, that, like bro. that's wild, but they, but they want to teach you. That's what the world look like, and that's what the planets and the stars and the moon, man. This bro. shit, wow. It's all, uh, it's all in the, like brother Sanchez hit the nail on the head, bro. He said, he said they're trying to get you away from the mother. That is true. Everything is an attack on the mother, even, bro, bro. And I'm gonna get real serious right now, hey, bro. It's all hey, about the women, bro. I mean, what would it gain from it? Is people? all about the women. Men do they're everything every, every to please a woman, it's like globe and all that. They, they have nothing to gain by lying to you. Say it one more time, brother. We couldn't hear you. What do they have to gain by lying to you that the earth is a globe? All right, let me, let me let me build, let me build, let me build with them. Let me build with them. I got this. I got this, y'all. The reason why they will lie about the globe. Is because if you really thought break, of, if you was really break, break down the flat earth cosmology to him, man. No, no, let's... yeah, bro. Look, check this no, out. Okay, okay, well, explain it to him then. My, my, let me get out of this. Y'all, yeah, hell of that. Yeah, I'm gonna meet this my is mic. why this, this is why this is why they want you to think the earth is a globe. If the if they if if they know that they've taught you and you believe that the earth is a globe, then your your thoughts on earth is not personalized. You don't feel like that's your world. You feel like that was a world that's created before you. It belongs to other people. You're just insignificant. You're just a speck of dust that came out of God's fart in the universe. For one, the same people that tell you about the fucking globe tell you God don't exist. The same people that tell you God don't exist is doing what? They trying to find life in other worlds. What the fuck are you finding? Why are you looking for life in the other world if you don't even believe God exists? So basically, NASA's telling you they're chasing a fucking another fart in the universe to happen that's going to build another earth, uh, build another world where other people can live. And they, they're they selling this shit, literally selling this shit. When, when bro Sanchez tell people about this NASA budget, he ain't bullshitting y'all, bro. Five, five, 50 million fucking dollars a day, bro, coming out of this country alone every fucking day. For what? Now, now, if the earth is not a globe and NASA is taking all of this money from everybody, what are they? What is their agenda? That's the point. Now, it's not about um, are they lying or are they not? We know they're lying. Now it's about why they lying. So. When we think about why they lying, we got to look at the facts. The facts is when we go outside, we see nature, we see nature, we know something created this shit. We know we are human beings. We see animals that don't look nothing like us. They can't speak like us. We are obviously different from them. Something created every moving, living thing on this planet that we live on, with this plane we live on. Now, flat earth cosmology works like this. If you look at a, if you look at a, at a circular round plate, okay, um, if you if you're looking down on the earth, what the earth really looks like is a big ass island of multiple different what we call continents, but it's all one big ass right. island. 
if if the earth is flat, as you say, and there's eclipse, when there's an eclipse, I mean everybody on earth should be able to see that eclipse. Why some part why only some part of earth? I mean that at that moment, that like you know, that people I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Okay, I mean, okay. Why, why don't everybody expect, I mean I mean see that can, can I explain this one? Yep, go ahead, bro. Okay. So the the reason why is because first off, the sun and the moon are way smaller than what we've been told. Right? So don't yep. look at it as yep. is uh, uh you know I can't remember uh, the exact know number, far, but it, it's so much bigger. The sun and the moon are. They're not far at all. The they're sun with, and the moon. Within, are, the sun and the moon is only 30,000 no, miles not, in the air. No, one, you are saying they are not far at all. Okay. And how come then, if it's not far, that means it's easy for them to get to the moon. If it's not far. So why don't you believe they went to the moon if it's not far? Because the moon is a light orb. It's not, a, it's not an actual physical... You know, it's, it's not physical the way we are. It's, it's, it's a light orb, and you can't land on light. Now we now that's a theory, but we 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 strongly believe in that theory, but we we haven't proven that yet. Now it's still a possibility that the moon could be an actual object. That's still possible. But the thing is, the sun and the moon are the exact same size, but they move at different speeds. Now the trail, the, the tracking, the track that the sun and the moon rotates on is actually rotating around the 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 the, the uh, above is, is is rotating above our heads in a circular pattern, and the moon as well. But they're at different speeds, so that's why you get an eclipse every now and then. Now the reason why you can't see the eclipse from everywhere in the world is because of perception. The sun and the moon is not as big as they as as, as they teach us it is. Is nowhere near as big as they teach us it is, and the moon is nowhere near as big as they teach us it is. So, if 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 I got an eclipse, if I could see the eclipse over here, and I'm in, let's say I'm in Australia, there is no way you can see the eclipse across the so, middle, so the, across the North Pole. If you if you on the other side of the North Pole, and I'm in Australia, and I got an eclipse, you can't see that eclipse where you at. Maybe you won't be able to telescope. see. It. Yeah. Unless you got a telescope and you you on you on something high, you standing on something high, you got a real real telescope, you'll be able to see it. But other than that, won't happen. And another thing, if the Earth is a globe, how in the hell do you have all of these polar regions that have night and day, and or, or night and flat, day for long extended flat, periods of time? Are they at the very edge? Say it, say it one more time, brother. We can't hear you. If if, if the earth was flat, uh huh, sailors will fall at the edge. Whoever said it was no, the edge. No, 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 no. Go ahead, he ain't get on, bro. So what? Know what's up. Okay, what, what, I mean, what happens when you, when you still find out? Are you going to hear see, the See, see, uh, uh, most of us believe that that okay. So the way it works is, is that the North Pole is in the center, right, and South surrounds us. That's the way we view it. Right, and the South has a, a giant ice wall. These are things you can look up online, right? These are these are things you should already know anyway if you watch National Geographic and stuff like that, because they always showing these ice walls. Yep. They never giving explanations about them, but they always showing. And the ice yep. walls are over two hundred feet high, and they hold in the water. Water always finds its level. That's why it's always called a sea level, right? So if you're looking at the if you're looking at it from our perspective, then you will see that. Even if even if there was an edge, you wouldn't be able to access it anyway, just off the simple fact that you wouldn't be able to survive I, I, those I'm, conditions. I'm gonna put the ice wall up there for them. Can, can y'all see the screen? I'm gonna put the ice wall up there for them. Hold yeah, up. I can see the screen. And the and not only that, there. hold on, I, I got you, bro. And and not only that, right? Not only that, but we believe, or well, some of us believe in an infinite plane. So they keep I trying do. to give us to, to believe in this infinite uh space. Right, but we don't believe in it. We believe that we are in uh, even even our so-called space is an enclosed system, right? That's all a part of us. You know what I mean? And we don't believe uh, this whole big planet. You know, planet is this, planet is that, because those of us that do have telescopes that have used our telescopes, you can see that them planets don't look like that at all. They ain't nothing but at shimmering all. lights. At all, they yep. shimmering exactly. lights in the sky the same way as our stars are. Yep. Yep. And, 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 the, and, the, and the reason why we know that 
is because the 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 colors that are projected from those objects and the colors that they show us when we do see those planets do not are not the same they do not exactly they don't match up the same exactly yep now another thing i want to touch on is the fact that the indoctrination process is basically half and half for them to lie to you they're not going to they're not going to flat out tell you a straight bold lie why because they still need people indoctrinated in today's society as well. They still need people to join their fold just as well as they need to see how many people or what the rate of people waking up is. So they're going to put half truths in their lie. So when they tell you the infinite space, the only thing that was true is infinite. Right. The space part is a lie. The whole blackness part is a lie. The real infinite infinity is in that is on that ice. That ice, that sheet of ice. But you see, but you know what? Uh, Vegan Warrior had a had a video at one point, and I watched it, man. And he 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 made me feel some when he said what he said. He said, "What if?" He said, "What if NASA, when they took that, when they when they jumped off, when they jumped on that rocket, and they and they got up above the Earth, and they really looked back on the Earth, what if all they saw was blue? Mm. All they saw was blue on going all going on for infinite infinity, nothing but blue, blue, blue everywhere. Like, and they, they can't come, they can't come back down and explain that shit. They can't come back down and tell motherfuckers we living on an infinite ocean. Right. They can't tell nobody that. They can't tell nobody that Earth is surrounded by ice rings and that there's other islands out there and shit. You know why they ain't gonna tell you that? Because they know damn well. That the gut they need permission to talk about this type of shit because for one, for them to even go out in space like that, they needed permission. And in that Masonic order, you know, it's a hush hush situation anyway. You know, yeah. it's it's the reason why the Masons don't have a damn one window and not none of their lodges. There's a reason for that. We got yeah. one of the well, I don't know if it's one of the biggest. I ain't been all over, and I don't, and I don't really deal with Masons like that. But I do know that here down here in Atlanta, we got one of the biggest. Mason lodges that I've ever seen personally, and that motherfucker ain't got not one window. Yep, they but I get do, but, they can't see all guess what? But guess what? I bet you they do got. I bet you the motherfuckers got a sunroof or a fucking moon roof where they can see the sky at night. Oh, hell I yeah. bet you, I bet you they got I bet you on top of every Mason Lodge, they got a fucking room, a, a fucking window on top of that building where when they inside they can see the stars and shit. I guarantee you that. And not only that, I guarantee you every Mason Lodge is where it's at for a specific reason. Yeah. Every Mason Lodge is where it's at for a specific reason. I guarantee that. Because these, you got to understand some These Masons, man, they ain't no joke. They got the truth already. They had the truth for hundreds of years. Right. So, so we can't underestimate these motherfuckers. They probably, they, they've been spinning circles around the world for, for years, which is why they came up with the globe. They run in circles around us while we in his bitch thinking we 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 spinning around on the ball. These motherfuckers trying to explore new islands and claim them shits. Let's see, yeah. hell yeah, and and, and you know a, another thing is that uh, when you, when you, when we talk about secret societies or whatever you want to call them, high, high societies, whatever you know, we know that. The ones that's the one, the ones that's out in the open, the ones you know about ain't the dangerous one. Nope. You know what I'm saying? It's the, the ones Mises you don't ain't, know about. That's that's the that's that's the low rank. Them the you foot soldiers, I mean? they, man. Every exactly. gang got one. Every exactly. gang got a split soldiers, man. Yep. There's an A team and there's a B team. B team, you know. Yep. A team, they the real killers. Them they call yep. shots. Yep. Yep. The B team is the street team. Them the yep. ones who promote who promote the damn the the, the agenda. You know, it's nothing for them to them to them to get a hundred motherfuckers to wear a mason jacket and wear it wear it throughout the public so other people can ask, what the fuck is that? Oh, come to the lodge, join us. Right. You know, that's how, that's their recruiting tactic, bro. So it, it's no different if you was a rapper, if you was a rapper, a new rapper that came out, and you know, you got a street team and you got all these people that 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 promote for you, they got all your merchandise, they wear your clothes with the with the album cover on and all that shit. And it's all on the streets. That's that's advertisement. That's all that is, you know. So you got to bring. You, you got to think about. You got to think about the people they go after too, right? Police officers, military yep. personnel. You know what I'm yep. saying? They 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 are they they recruit people Astronauts. who are used to taking orders, or who who just want to be on top. 
Think, yep. think about the people that you see the most wearing the, the Mason clothing. These are people who are, are low, well, quote unquote low, working class people in society who just want to yep. have some type of edge. They tired of being shitted on bro, their whole life. They damn, just want to so get up a little said bit. That, bro. Yes, bro. Those are the people that's been, been kicked on and they right. tired, bro. And they just want to be a part of something that means something, bro. Exactly. And they feel like they, they feel like that shit right there is they answer, bro. But a exactly. lot of them guys, a lot of them guys, they get in that shit, bro, and they get up in them ranks and shit. Sometimes they like, fuck that. I ain't with this shit no more. And yeah. some of them be like, fuck it. I do it. You know, so they so, get bent you know, over. <laughs> so they get yeah, bro. Over. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like, like it's you got two different type of people in this world, bro. Well, you got three. I say three. Right. You got some of them that'll do that shit, that'll do that shit just for clout. Some that'll say they doing it for family purposes, and some that are just that just won't do it at all. Like right. nigga, like nigga be broke their whole life before they become a mason, nigga, because they know what it's about. You see what I'm right. saying? So But think about so, how many people don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because because masonry isn't common knowledge. I got cousins that's like, I'm thinking about becoming a mason. And I'm like, you know, we'll, we'll research that shit, man. You know what I mean? Don't ever just jump mm -hmm. into anything. Research that shit. Fi figure out the ins and outs. Learn about the dark parts and, and the light parts. Because even in gang culture, you know what I mean? It, you know, I'm sure that, you know, most of us kind of ran the streets a little bit. You know, uh, yeah, we all know a dirt out here. You know, and, and, and when you join up with niggas, you be needing to know. I know niggas that kidnap women. You know what I mean? I'm not hanging yeah. out with them. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. what, what, what you doing? Exactly. I live in Atlanta, bro. I see women get kidnapped. They they literally will pull up in a van and, and throw your ass in there down here. But that's but that's they set. You know what I mean? That's yep. what they do. You know, yep. so you, you gonna join up with people like that? You gotta do your research. You gotta know the motherfuckers you around. But check you this know? out though. Yep. And not only that, I'm glad you touched on that because because the Masons is just as smart. These motherfuckers is so smart, bro. They use what they tell you is devil worship just to weed you out. If they got, let's say, let's say you got one lodge, one Mason lodge, and they got 25 new recruits. Them 25 new recruits, I guarantee you every Mason lodge, for you to join a Mason, they need your damn birth certificate. I guarantee you. Why? How do I know? Because they need to know your astro chart. They have to know your natal chart. Why do they need to know your natal chart? Because they, they your natal chart tells them more about you then your personality, your words, your face, your your actions could ever tell them. That's real. Your natal chart, bro. Your natal chart tells a, a Mason everything about you. That's hidden knowledge right there. Now, when we was growing up, they taught us that astrology and horoscopes was devil worship. Devil it's worship. devil worship, right? Yeah. But they tell you, they tell you that same shit, but but Horoscope, horo means what? So, Take it down, brother, we listening? Hey, uh, Horus, 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 Horus became the sun god. Mm -hmm. Horus. So, horoscope is this the eye of the sun, or the sun's eye, something, something along those lines. So, when you think about that. And you look at all of these nations that's worshiping sun deities, sun gods. Why would horoscope be labeled, um, you so know, why occult does the moon, knowledge? Why does the moon change shape? The it moon it changes shape. Shape. It doesn't on its own because it would be impossible. It would be impossible for the uh, Earth to be eclipsing the moon to give us its moon phases. Because how would you explain a half of moon? It would be impossible for that straight line to go down the, the center oh, of right. a moon if the earth is its own light, right? Correct. So you, so you want to know, know why it does it? 